What is it about, like, like the fedora has been uncool for a really long time now. Like, at minimum, since the swing revival in, like, the 90s, right? Probably before then. But when you look at people, like, in the 50s and 60s that were wearing them, they were looking fucking cool, bro. So what is it about the fedora now that's so much worse? Is it because people are trying to use it as a, as a shortcut to be like, I'm well-dressed and classy without actually committing with the rest of the outfit? Is it like fedora plus graphic t-shirt plus sweatpants is like the, is that the, is it a principal element there? That's part of it. I will say, Kate will tell you this is true. I made a bold decision as a, as a 35 year old man. I had a, uh, a shirt in my closet that I didn't know where it came from. Either like my mom gave it to me for Christmas at some point, or like maybe I bought it for myself and then was like, I'm not sure if this shirt is really like what I'm looking for. Um, and I was like, you know what? Today's the day I'm gonna try it on. It, Cause it's, it is the season. It's a flannel button up shirt. I put it on and Kate said, what is that shirt? And I said, I don't know. Like, I didn't take offense to it because I was looking at myself in the mirror like, what's going on with this? But it wasn't like a, an oversized flannel shirt in keeping with the style of our time. It was like a fucking tight ass flannel shirt. Like it was, and I'm a relatively skinny guy compared to at least where I used to be. Like this shit was fucking tight, bro. Um, she said, at the very least, you gotta tuck it in, okay? So I tucked it into my, um, to my Lululemon navy blue slacks. And I was like, this doesn't feel like me. Uh, but I said, sometimes it's like that, right? Sometimes you try on, you get a new haircut, you know, it's been a while since I had this experience, obviously. But you get a new haircut and you're like, I look stupid. Then you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, actually, I really like it. Um, so I said I'd try it, went out, we had to run some errands in the morning, went out, came back home, looked at myself in the mirror and said I straight up look like a cowboy. Like I, I look like someone who would say like you yeed your last ha. But because of the Lululemons there was also like a little like metrosexual element going on that was, there was like a discordant vibe. It's like the outfit was discordant with itself and it was discordant with my personality and I was like this is just not gonna work. So then I took it off and I put on something more me. Um, and then I put the shirt back in the closet. I don't know what that's for though. I put it back in the closet as if to be like, maybe one day. <laughs> Use it unbuttoned with the shirt. You really think it would work well on top of the Hurley? On top of the Kirkland signature Eddie Bauer? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Kate will tell you if she's still here. It was not, well, she did say, why'd you change? And then I was like, I just don't think it was working. And then she was kind of like, eh, like, yeah. It's a good, good try. Like you gotta try it sometimes. You gotta give it a shot. You should be a vest guy. I think that's where I'm going. I think I'm, I think I'm evolving into Patagonia vest. I think that's my next step. I do like to be outside, which is something I never thought I would hear myself say. It seems in keeping with the rest of, of my lifestyle. I think I would like hiking. It just seems like there's lots of great hiking in Vancouver. It just seems crazy to me to like drive your car to like a hiking trail. Like it's, it's like, like smoking a cigarette on the treadmill or something like that. It's like, that's something I've, and I shouldn't let that stand in my way, I guess, but it's a long trip to the damn mountains if you're gonna take a bike, I guess. He's always got to say something. That's, that is my number one foible, Chibli. You got me. I do always be got to saying something. 